this next seafood place I'm at is straight up giving me goosebumps right now. Oh my bonchons arriving. You guys remember that amazing hair tail fish I had in Seoul, the one that was like this big? It was not only supremely delicious, but also reminded me of my childhood. Well, that dish is a Jeju specialty. So I'm about to eat it here, of course, in Jeju. And at this restaurant, all the fish are locally sourced. It's the top grade hair tail fish. And then they cook it one of two ways. You can either have it in a journal, which I'm sure is just amazing, but I gotta have my grill. And before the fish can even fit on the table, I, I gotta finish this dish first. This is pumpkin porridge. Oh, this is amazing. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Those pumpkin porridge kanji thing, it tastes like the yummy side of Halloween. This is a uh, fried mushroom in sweet and sour sauce. Basically, sweet and sour mushrooms. Oh my gosh. Juicy, crunchy mushrooms on the inside. The sauce, a little sweet, a little sour. This is amazing. A little japchae. So far, everything's amazing. There it is. Monster hair tail fish. Now they trimmed the fish for you. And this fish, what I love about it, is it doesn't have a lot of bones. It's just mainly three sets of bones. The bones on the either side of the fish, then a big massive rib bone in the middle. It is just roasted to perfection. Not much seasoning on this, and they cut it into sections, um, essentially filleting this fish. Guys, this is crazy, check it out. They cut this fish with a fishing pole, and that's the fish hook right there. This part, you can't really eat. That's where the innards are, and that's really bitter. I, I've mistakenly eaten that before. And there's little little bits of bones to watch out for. Otherwise, it's good to go. My favorite fish growing up, uh, my, my grandma used to make this almost every single day. Very popular fish in China. Because the meat, because it, it is so incredibly meaty. And this thing has got zero fishiness to it whatsoever. The meat is incredibly succulent and tender. And you can see how juicy the fish meat is. And look how tender and delicate. Happy fish day to me. Oh my God. If you like fish, or you like seafood, or even if you don't, this might actually convert you. Like I said, it has zero fishiness to it. And they season this fish with not much at all, really just some salt. And you can taste the smoke in this fish. Like I was saying, if you love seafood, you love fish, if you come to Jeju and you do not get this, you need to come back. This is the treasure of the sea in Jeju. The skin has a slightly chewier texture, and that just highlights how deliciously tender the meat of this fish is. Like I said, just some salt, nothing else. And what I really love about having this fish grilled is that all that juiciness is just trapped inside the flesh. And also, this is where you can really taste the fish on its own. And trust me, you're gonna fall in love with the steak. I mean, every single bite is like my first. It just brings me back to when I was a kid. I'm sitting in my grandma's kitchen, and she would cook this by stewing it. And she'll give it to me, obviously not deboned at all. And I would just take a section of the fish and you would eat it with your hands and debone it with your teeth. You're essentially eating it like, like a fish rib. So I don't know if it's because of memories or if this is just actually that good. Maybe a combination of both, but I consider this the best tasting fish in the world. And also with all the bunch on here, you can kind of change up the flavor a little bit. You take a bite of the big fish, taste it with some of the little fish. There's no wrong way to do it. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna enter some familiar territory. They didn't cut off this tail part. I'm gonna eat this like I did back when I was a kid. The skin of this fish is so incredible. And just like he did in the beginning, just remove this. There's still a little bit of meat here. I just like gnawing it. Because I don't like wishing any bit of this fish. So after this roll of bones are removed, what I like to do is just take a bite.
That is my happy place right here. I love this part because now the fish meat is a little chewier, a little more charred, and you can kind of almost eat this like a fish jerky. There's only one problem with ordering a, a, a grilled fish like this. You can't really eat it with your rice. But it's not saucy, so I figure since I'm here, having such a good time eating this fish, let's get another one cooked in a different way. This to rice is like Robin to Batman. When you have rice, you should always try to have something like this. Boiling stone pot, some veggies, and then the hair tail fish inside. Look how tender that is. Every piece of fish is just invaded by a ton of chili and spices. Oh, oh by the way, this radish, this thing is like the essence of a Jordan. All that nice flavor is soaked into this radish. This is the first time I'm having like Hair tail deboned and jerdum. Add a bit of more soup with the radish. That's how food magic is created. Completely different flavor profile and texture profile than the grilled hair tail fish. Way spicier and so incredibly succulent. That thing should always be invited to your food party. I gotta say though, I like the grilled version better because I feel like the fish texture is just that much better grilled. But hey, try it on your own, let me know. Oh, I thought something. Take the grilled fish and we put it into the drum and let it just swim around for like a few seconds. And then invite it to the rice party. That might be the best of both worlds. You still get that nice smoky flavor from the grilled fish. And I feel like the mouthfeel is much better than the fish that's been boiling in the jodum. One more thing. Got these little hand wraps here. And this is just me, you don't have to do this. A piece of the grilled one on top of that. That was the greatest use of this little hand wrap. The sauce like soaked down into the rice. Guys, I know this fish is not cheap, but if you're ever in Jeju, even if you're in Seoul, they make great hair tail jodum in Nande Moon Market, and they make a fantastic grilled hair tail in the, in the restaurant I went to last time, so I'll put that address for you guys down here as well. But if you come to Jeju, this is something that's gotta be on the top of your food list. One or two, and make sure to get both versions just to try it out, but 100% gotta get a grilled one. This is a life-changing type of fish. If it tastes even more magical, it can borderline grant some wishes. And as always, this restaurant I'm at, which is just filled with locals. Like seriously, I I'm like the only tourist here. All that information is listed for you in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later. Hey, by the way, if you take the receipt upstairs, you get free chocolate, handmade. These are traditional Jeju rice cakes. Crunchy and mochi -esque. This coffee is pretty cool. This is also a uh, specialty of Jeju, these mandarin chocolates. Oh, they look so pretty too. Mmm! That's all melty. Some tender fish and some melty chocolates. This has been a pretty good meal. Alright, okay, I'll see you later.